Oh. All right, so I want to continue on with the uh, authentication. Uh, I skipped over some things yesterday about verifying that the person exists and some things like that just to show you how the session variables worked. So I want to fill this part in a little bit and storing some data for a user, and we'd have to do that in a table. So first of all, I want to sh it, would it be a good idea to store their plain text password in a database table? No. Why? It could be hacked. They could steal. If somebody gets at your entire database, they've got your entire user's uh, login information. So that's a bad idea, right? So we never store the actual password anywhere on the system. We store what they call a hash of the password, an encrypted version of the password. And in it, this is not a hash like a Ruby hash. This is a way of taking data and converting it into something that uh, can be replicated that's always unique, so the same word always comes up with the same uh, hash, no matter what, but it's what they call a one-way encryption, meaning that there is no way to get the original data from the, the uh, hashed encrypted data. There's no way to get the original password from this hash. All right, so... In, uh, in PHP, they have a bunch of methods. Uh, if I look at php.net slash hash, uh, this is how, how we can create different uh, encrypted strings, is all it's doing is encrypting a string. And they have uh, a bunch of ways of encrypting. One of the most common is an MD5 hash. You might hear of that, MD5 hash. is a... It's a one-way encryption. It's pretty, pretty foolproof. But now people are saying that could be hacked, so we need to go to like an SHA-256, which takes longer to, uh, to create, but it's a more secure kind of a one-way hash. So we're going to use that one. We're going to use that just to play with. And the hash method, uh, what we do is we call it, we pass in the name of the algorithm we want to use and the string that we want to encrypt, which is going to be the password, and that returns a string back to us. It returns a string like this, a bunch of letters and numbers. These are uh, hex, hexadecimal digits, okay? So it's, there's no way to get the original, the quick brown fox string, given this. There's no way to get that data back. No, the same string can go, it will create this hash. Yeah. So the way hackers deal with that is they run, they have hash uh, databases that if, if I were to, to uh, encrypt the word password, I know that it comes out to this. Yeah. So they could look that up and use that. They could figure that out. But... Uh, you know, that takes a long time to do. And there's another way of calling, uh, calling salt, which I'll leave you guys to figure out, which adds an additional random string to that uh, hash to make it even more difficult. Right. Yeah. It, it ends up being you have to do a brute force uh, hacking to get into that. Not impossible, no. Yes, to create to create the uh, the string in the first place. Gotcha. Um, so we're going to call uh, this on my secret password password, and we'll echo this out just to show you what this hash function does. So this is the hash here. This long string is going to be generated the same way every time. So if I rerun this, this string will be the same string. Okay, Secret password with this algorithm will always generate this string. Okay, So you see it didn't change. It ends in 8557. Run it again, ends in 8577. So same thing. 
oh yeah, if I change this, this is going to change completely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all it's all uppercase, whatever. It's all different ASCII characters, right? Completely different number. See, it didn't change by one; it changed the entire hash string. See that? All right. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to store that hash in our database. That's going to be the password that we're going to look up in the database. So, so let's first create a database. Let's create a new table. I'm going to do it from PHP Storm. See if this will work. I'm going to call it Users. And I'm going to call it user ID. And let's see what it did here. There it is. Holy cow, that took a long time. All right, so let's add a column. Let's see. Add a column, and we'll call it uh, username. I haven't never used this interface, so let's see what it does. Varchar should be Varchar 255. Add a column, username, Varchar 255. Don't make me go back out and use PHP my admin. That's pretty speedy. All right, we're going to add another column, and we'll call it uh, password. And that's going to be a var char 285 as well. And that's good enough for now. So when they log in through our form that we created yesterday, we're going to get the username and password from the form. Uh, then we're going to have to compare that with the data that's in the, the database. All right. So unfortunately, I have a chicken and egg problem here. I need to create a user because I don't have any registration form here. So I'm going to add a user. We'll call it one, uh, Dave. And the password now, what we're going to store in this is the hash, the encrypted version of a password. All right, so in my case, I'm going to have to go create this. Normally, you'd have a registration and let them log in and create that. But I'm going to go figure out what the password would be for uh, what? Dave Jones. All right, that's going to be my password. And, and I'll, that will give me a string that I can put in the database. All right, so there's my long string. I'm going to copy that. Whoa. I'm going to copy this string and put it into my, into my table. What happened? There we go. All right. So now if I log in with Dave and Dave Jones as my password, it's going to compare against the string. All right. So, so what I have to do to compare those strings is what? Because password is going to have the text Dave Jones in it. How do I? Right. I have to hash it the same way that I did when I created that. So I have to say um, if hash of uh, the SHA-256, comma, dollar sign password, oops, if that's the same as the password that I get from my database, all right? So I have to go and make a query to my database to get that information, right? So let's go let's go and make a connection. 
We've got to do all this whole connection stuff. Uh, require, connect, SQL, make a query, get the query, copy all of that. PHP is a lot of copy and paste, let me tell you. All right, so we're going to we'll move this up here. Uh, make a connection. We're going to do a, a, a SQL command. And we're going to select star from where? Users, where? Where username equals dollar sign, uh, I'm going to put it in quotes, dollar sign username. And we could do this uh, right in the SQL command. I could say and uh, password equals what? Well, hang on. You're already using the password check down the bottom, so if you, if you check for the password... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it up here instead. I think that's cooler. Okay, check the password there, and it fails. Your SQL string will come back empty. Right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to, uh, instead, uh, let's do it simpler. I'm going to create my uh, hashed password. is going to be my hashed password. And this is just going to be my dollar sign hashed password. There's no W in your first uh, one, so. Password? password? What the heck? All right. Got to have a dollar sign. All right, so let's see what this looks like. This is we're going to select from the user table where the username equals the username the guy typed in, and the password is equal to the hashed password. So that will either return a row or not, right? I'll get something or I won't. So I'm going to go and do the query, and then I don't have to compare them. That that lets the password the uh, database compare them for me automatically. So I can say if uh, if result if I get something back, then I know that that it's valid. Right, I can put this in my verify statement here. If it's valid, if they're okay, then I'm going to set my values here inside of here and do my redirect. Does that seem right? Yeah. You can get rid of the if username right now, couldn't you? I could. I don't need that anymore. So if it finds it in the database, then I know I've got uh, a good uh, person. They logged in. They got the username and password are the same, so everything should be fine. All right, any questions on that? Now, I would also want to uh, run this username and password through my MySQL select, MySQL What's the name of it? Yeah. I don't do it on all my things, that's why. don't do it all the time, do I? A uh, real escape string, that's what it's called. Uh, MySQL real escape string. Where's my login again? All right. So um, 
Any questions on that? Let's see if this will work. Let's see if it will actually work. So if I go to login... Yeah, that's all right. So I'm going to type in Dave, and my password was Dave Jones. Yeah, I have a redirect down here. Yeah. So I have some error. Yeah, but yeah, I won't let it redirect. But uh, so let's see. Let's just do something here so I can see that I'm logged in. Ah, there it is. I didn't see that. All right, so I'm logged in. So the password that it got, it did the hash on the plain text that I typed in, did a lookup in the database to make sure that the hashed version matched the hashed version in my database, and it'll go through and do the redirect here. So I could take my echoes out and all my echoes out and let it do the redirect now. And there we go. Look at that. And I can save my password. It says, Welcome, Dave. Isn't that cool? So I made it a little more secure. There's a, a lot of other uh, things. There's lots of other stuff I could do to make this even more secure. Like I talked about the salt. They talk about storing the salt as another random number that you uh, append to the password and make sure that that's the same and you store the salt in the user table. And if you look at the device gem for Ruby, that actually has that in the table. If you look at the, the generated uh, table that it creates, it's got that stuff in it. So it's a lot more secure. It seems kind of counterproductive, though, just to put the salt, the, the salt in the user database. Because if they get the database, they're going to get that as well. Yes. But they, they don't, it doesn't help you. Again, it's a one-way encryption. It doesn't really help you. Hey, he's here. <laughs>